would say in conclusion is the Labor Party has been in power for 15 of the last 19 years and in that period our transport system has faced real challenges and has actually deteriorated on many, uh, many reasonable metrics, many reasonable uh, measures of performance. Uh, if we are elected, we will actually, and we've got much more to say in coming, uh, coming weeks as we approach the election, uh, we will reinvigorate many of our um, lines, many of our uh, rail and tram and bus connections, and we will not be forgetting the importance of uh, bicycle paths and connections, a proper bike, bicycle network, and also um, we should focus also on pedestrians who are, uh, in my view, play a very significant role in um, actually assisting the movement of people. So we should actually make sure that in many areas that pedestrians are actually uh, supported. I would also um, make the point very strongly that this is about our city in Melbourne, but it's also about the whole of the state. We're focused in part on managing some of the population growth through a focus on decentralisation, and that will mean transport alternatives that will mean people can get to those regional cities that have got to play a very significant role as we go forward. Um, I look forward, if we're elected, to working with uh, councils and communities to actually deliver good outcomes on public transport. I think the option is there, the alternative is there, and uh, we will be a government that is focused on the whole of the state, dealing with that population growth and dealing with the transport challenges constructively.